tell me the stories of Jesus I love to hear things I would ask him to tell me if he were here Welcome to Guitar Lady Grandpa I'm Jim Hinkle welcoming you to a channel that celebrates Jesus in song, scripture, and occasional commentary. Let's see what today's video has in store. Today I'm going to focus on celebrating Jesus in scripture as I read selections from Jesus the Life, as it appears in the Whosoever New Testament edition. This book is a medley of the gospel accounts of the life of Jesus, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, all woven together into a single narrative. I'm going to be reading from chapters titled Soul Solitary Sacrifice and Waiting the Coming Day, which give the gospel account of Jesus' passion, his arrest, trial, death, burial, and his resurrection. Listen in as I share this wonderful word about Jesus. As soon as it was day, the assembly of the elders of the people was gathered together, both chief priests and scribes, and they led him away into their council, saying, If you are the Christ, tell us. But he said to them, If I tell you, you will not believe, and if I ask you, you will not answer. Now the chief priests and the whole council sought false witnesses against Jesus, that they might put him to death, and they found none. For many false witnesses appeared against him, yet their testimony did not agree. But afterward two came and said, This man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to rebuild it in three days. Yet even so there their testimony did not come into agreement. And then the high priest stood up in the midst of them and asked Jesus, saying, Do you answer nothing? What is this testimony they bring against you? But he held his peace and answered nothing. Again the high priest asked him and said to him, I charge you by the living God that you tell us whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, Well, you have said so. I am. And I say to you, Hereafter you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Now the high priest tore his clothes and said, What further need do we have for witnesses? We have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him and said, He is worthy of death. And some began to spit in his face and beat him, and some covered his face and hit him, striking him with the palms of their hands, saying, Prophesy! And the officers received him with slaps. Immediately all the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people with the whole council took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him up to Pilate the governor. Then Judas, who betrayed him when he saw that he was condemned, repented and brought back the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I've sinned and then I betrayed innocent blood. But they said, What is that to us? You see to it. And he threw the pieces of silver down in the sanctuary and departed, and he went away and hanged himself. So the chief priest took the pieces of silver and said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since it is blood money. And they took counsel, and with them bought the potter's field, in which to bury strangers. Therefore that field was called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken through Jeremiah the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the value of him that was priced, whom certain of the children of Israel did price, and they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord appointed me. 